Ever since ChatGPT went mainstream, OpenAI has been seen as the AI company that does everything first. Post ChatGPT's rise to fame, OpenAI has been investing and collaborating with many big and small companies to help keep ChatGPT as the most used LLM app. Most people would think that ChatGPT voice mode is a creation of OpenAI. In reality, LiveKit is the company behind ChatGPT's voice mode. LiveKit has open sourced all of the actual code behind ChatGPT's voice mode and made it surprisingly simple for us to run ourselves. LiveKit's code is what is responsible for making voice mode real time with the ability to be interrupted by the user. Because LiveKit is open source, that means all of the code can be modified and updated by us for our needs. In this video, I will give you a quick demo of how to use LiveKit's Agent Playground to easily run the voice agent on your computer running OpenAI models. If you're interested in seeing how I modified my LiveKit agent to use Grok's open source models, pause this video and hit the like button so I know it's worth going in more depth on how to customize your LiveKit agents. The code for my Grok LiveKit agent is currently available for AI Austin Pro members on my Discord server for anyone looking to get a head start. Setting up a real-time voice assistant app is surprisingly simple for anyone with the confidence to run a couple command line prompts. On the LiveKit IO homepage, click the Start Building for Free button and sign up for an account if you have not already. Inside your dashboard, click Try Sandbox, and in here we can use the Voice Assistant front-end template to create our app. After the app has been created, you will see a message with instructions for your operating system in the bottom right corner of your browser. Here we'll show the commands to install the LiveKit command line interface and your new app. For Windows run these commands in the command prompt app as admin and run them in the terminal app for Mac and Linux users. For this demo, you will need an OpenAI API key for an account that has usage credits. Paste that in when prompted after running the app installation command. Now we'll just need to change one line of code in all of this code that LiveKit created. For this, open the programs folder in VS Code or whichever code editor that you prefer. In the Explorer tab, open the agent.py file. On Mac, press Command plus F, and for Windows or Linux users, press Control plus F to search for text. In the search field, type STT equal. Here you will notice they are using the DeepGram API for speech to text. This is an option to keep as is and get yourself a DeepGram API key and DeepGram will be slightly faster for speech recognition than OpenAI Whisper and does have a $200 credit for new users as of recording this. But for simplicity's sake, I will change my STT engine to OpenAI. Save the file and open a terminal in VS Code to start up the voice agent. After running Python 3 agent.py dev, we can go back to the playground section of LiveKit site and click the launch button for the voice app we just created. LiveKit will open the web interface that is the same UI as the ChatGPT voice mode. You can click to start a new conversation and now you have created the actual ChatGPT voice mode app in just minutes. For those looking to learn how to modify LiveKit's code to run other LLMs, other speech-to-text models, other text-to-speech models, setting up the web UI on a local server, adding function calling, and many more features that we can add thanks to the open source nature of LiveKit, don't forget to subscribe to see more in-depth videos on LiveKit. This has been AI Austin. I will see you in the next one.